up guys, Cars Across Texas here today, and today we're gonna go for a little drive in this S650 we have behind me. It's a new S650 that we've updated. I'll go over some details here in a second, but let's talk about how the month went in sales, on YouTube, in everything in life. Let me just kind of give a general idea of what's going on. We got some cool stuff in the dealership. Maybe I'll show you some things going on there. Speaking of cool inventory, look at this thing. This is the new California Special, so it's got the blue accents, the blue accents on the wheels. Blue leather, too, which is quite funky. Look at that. What y'all think about the new S650s, boys? So this S650 is brand new, but we just got it back from the shop. It's lowered on Ford Performance coilovers or springs or something. I'm actually not 100% sure if it's springs or coilovers, but it's still lowered on some Ford Performance goodies. It's got some niche wheels. This is technically a base model, but we have fitted it with some cat skins leather inside that's kind of OEM spec. Of course, you got the digital dash and the big old screen and the new Mustangs here. This one has also got an exhaust on it. Let's hear this thing real quick. Not too bad. I have no idea what exhaust this is. It doesn't say it on the tips, but it sounds pretty good. Let's see if I can do this. Y'all ready for a cool trick with the new S650s? I thought this was a dark horse only specific thing, but now the car's on. We're gonna lock and unlock. It revs once, lets you know that remote rev is engaged. Then let's unlock and lock it again. So you do got the remote rev, which is pretty cool. It sounds pretty good. Obviously it still has cat, so it does have that sort of noise to it, but it does have some nice rufflers on it. Let's get in and go for a drive. Even in the base models, boys, no more calculator screens. You got the fully digital dash here that's customizable to based on what you want to see. Then you got the 12.3 inch LCD display here for you. There's no more calculator screens. Even the base models get wireless CarPlay and all those other goodies. So it's finally a nice place to be. Let's see how this does. I've been posting this car on my story like every day because I just like, look at that thing. That's a unit right there, brother. But uh, I've been posting this car on my story every single day just because I like how it is. And for some reason, whenever I, um, see a car that I like on the lot, I get like ADHD hyper fixations. Like I'm gonna sell it. But as you boys know, I have started here at Doggett Ford. I have um, been here since the beginning of March. So I just wrapped up my second full month. It has been pretty cool. It's like the least stressful dealership selling experience I've had up to this point, which has been a lot of fun. And it's good to be back in a domestic brand. I tried Toyota for a bit, but I just, I like my American cars, man. I like the Mustangs. And whenever I'd post a Tundra at Toyota for sale, instead of people asking about Tundra availability or pricing, they'd say, hey bro, you got any F-150s? So now I'm here, right? And uh, this dealership is also unlike any other dealership that I have been at because it is largely online based. There's very few people that just walk into this dealership uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, which makes for an interesting dynamic, but it's cool because it's never like overwhelmingly busy. And whenever a lot of the dealerships I've worked at in the past feel like they're overwhelmingly busy, it doesn't really feel like many of those deals are getting done. But there's always something working at this dealership and there's always a sale happening and they're just, they just make deals like, out of nowhere. It's crazy. I've never seen this level of, you know, that really happen at a dealership, which is kind of fun, kind of exciting, knowing that there's always something going on. Um, but my first month ever, back in March, I sold 11 cars, and then in April, I sold 12, which has been cool, but my goal is always gonna be about 16. I feel like that's really where I know my check will be real solid. Um, Obviously, if I can get more, I'm gonna get more. 20 would be awesome, but I don't wanna to be too greedy. A goal is no good if it's unattainable, right? So I feel like 16 is achievable. And I've been super blessed. I'll put some cars on screen here, just throughout the video here, shouting some of you boys out. I've been super blessed with a lot of you coming in to buy vehicles from me. My boy, uh, Jesus has bought, how many cars is that now? 
he bought two for himself, one for his wife, one for himself. Sent his sister and uh, her husband to come buy a truck for me. And then sent his coworker who also bought a five point oh. That's what I'm talking about. Referrals pay $150 if you didn't know. Sending people my way, you can make a little side hustle out of that. So uh, shoot the people your way. Um, also my boy Gerardo, I sold him a Tacoma back at Toyota. And um, I, I think he wanted a little bit more speed because if y'all have ever driven a Tacoma, it's like one of the least exciting <laughs> driving experiences ever. Um, especially the newer ones but um, he wanted something a little bit quicker a little bit more fun so we came and I had a pre-owned single cab f-150 on the lot uh, five liter rear-wheel drive this one but he just wants a nice cruiser that's still plenty fast sounds good and sure enough it's gonna be that he's already put an exhaust on it I think he's got a drop kit coming in for it among other things so I'll drop a picture of it as it sits right now and I'll drop his Instagram if you want to follow a new single cab build it's also been really cool my bosses are very very good with special financing meaning either not great credit I and mean, you know get it right bad credit happens to good people I've been able to get a lot of people done whose credit might be a little bit challenged which has been nice to see a dealership not just turning and burning you know lower credit scores because at, at the end of the day everybody needs a vehicle that they can drive but <laughs> They also do well with first-time buyers. I know a lot of you guys are looking for a first-time car. We have some really cool stuff going on for first-time buyers. Ford Motor Credit's really good with first-time buyers. With a little bit of cash down or a co-signer, that always helps. But I'm here to help as well. I know a lot of you guys are, are younger as well. I can get you in something cool and quick and fun for a good rate, good interest rate, decent down payment, you know, nothing too crazy. Another cool vehicle I got to sell was on the last day of the month, we had this lifted F-250, brand new as well. Had some cool wheels on it, I'll post a picture on it. I took in two vehicles on trade for this. Another lifted truck and a hybrid Accord. And that was a pretty cool deal. It's always cool when you can kind of take in two trades for one and it just, it, it creates a unique sort of experience. Like I said, uh, my boy Jesus, he bought several vehicles from me. I'll put them all on screen here, but he also bought a, no, he didn't buy. He sent his coworker who bought a, a, a 5.0. So I'll put Ivan's uh, Instagram on screen with a picture of his Mustang he bought. I don't know if he has plans to modify it, but if you want to drop him a follow and uh, support maybe the build, but I don't really know what the point of today's video is, honestly. It's just been raining every single Sunday so it's been kind of hard for me to get videos uh, from car meets and from car stuff for you boys so we're just driving around we're gonna talk a little bit and see what's going on just kind of in life and what's going on behind the scenes in cars across Texas something different from your regular car show videos I don't know I mean these videos y'all seem to interact with a lot the actually active followers and everything but I just want to kind of talk let's hear all this Mustang sounds real quick definitely need some headers but not a bad tone for having catalytic converters still on it I really like how this thing looks too the stance with the wheels it's a good looking vehicle so you boys want it you know I'm working deals right I will always hook you boys up with a vehicle no matter what I really don't even strive like I, I'm my goal is just to get you guys vehicles my main source of income still YouTube and I still love doing it but sometimes it just gets a little bit difficult to get videos out when it rains every single Sunday and you know sometimes the car meets and car seat on the weekends can be a little dead it feels like everybody in Houston likes to host car meets same day all together all at once or None at all, it's insane. There'll be like six meets at the same time on the same day, and it makes all of the meets suck, or there's zero meets on a certain day, which is also just, what are we doing, guys? I don't know what's going on in the car scene, but it is what it is. I'm still able to get some videos here and there. I've been trying to keep that Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule up and going, but it's kind of been tough with you know the lack of um, meets going on when I'm able to make them. <laughs> I try to get off at work. They're very flexible with me here. I've, you know, had managers let me off a little bit early so I can get out to a meet and whatever. It's been pretty cool. Um, my boy, Irvy, who y'all have seen in cars on the channel, he has a, a C6 Z06 also built by High Performance Connection. He's my used car manager here, and he's been killing it, and it's been really fun to work with another car guy as my boss. I feel like a lot of dealerships, I'm never working with people that actually just like cars. <laughs> and, and so it's cool that I, I have people like that here um, but on the YouTube side of things 
Ah, uh, what did I post? I think I posted like 10 videos last month along with a couple shorts. I think the channel did about 320-ish thousand views. I should have looked this up before I um, came on and talked about it. But um, it's okay. It did okay. For some reason, a lot of the RPMs, which is how much I make per thousand videos, were very high last month, which was really nice. But I just need to get the views back. And speaking of views, I have been absolutely itching for a race car again, boys. And I don't, <laughs> I know I just talked about this like a month or two ago in a video, not really sure what I wanted to do. Because I'm really trying to get a house, but realistically, I don't think the house is coming for till the end of next year, but obviously I don't want to add more credit hits or debt to income to my credit profile. I could obviously sell the car before I get the house and that would, you know, resolve that debt to income issue. But I just, I don't know. In between a rock and a hard place because on one side of things, I really want a race car, but there's not much racing going on in Houston anymore and if there's one area of, oh man, if there's one area of vehicles that hasn't really come down yet, it's like all of the cool vehicles that I like. Like, oh my God, boys, go and open Auto Trader and pull up C6 ZR1s. You wanna laugh? $90,000 for a C6 is insane. I uh, get in. I kind of live my life by like, everything's a dream car, or like, you know, not everything's a dream car. But I have my dream cars, but they they lose their dream car status when they become a certain price. Like y'all boys know how much I love Vipers, but good lord, am I spending one hundred thirty thousand dollars on a Viper? Absolutely not. I'm not in a position to do that anymore. Um, you know, back in the day when I was first started selling cars and still making you know pretty good income off YouTube, along with making a lot of money selling cars, it was cool. But now I got a family. YouTube has, obviously, you boys can see, cooled off, um, which still pays the bills and still is a good extra income, but I have other bills to pay, and I, like I said, I'm trying to get a house. But with that being said, I was really, really looking into a GT350 the other day, but I'm like the worst person to sell to myself. I talk myself out of stuff so quickly and so easily, it is insane. I get real excited about something for like, 30 minutes <laughs> and I almost do it. I get close. I start like actually seriously looking and then I start thinking, eh, but, but I'm itching. I'm itching. I really have been itching. I've been telling Allie and I'm in like the most lucky situation in the entire world right now. I feel like most dudes are the total opposite of me. Allie has always been supportive of me buying another car. She's like, dude, do it. Why not? It'll get you your mojo back on YouTube, maybe. And at the very least, she knows I'll be happier with the car. But I'm the one that I have to talk myself into it because I talk myself out of everything. I don't want another Mondo car payment. And on the flip side of not wanting an insane car payment, there's not really any cheap cars out there that I'm like, oh yeah, that's what I want, all right? Like there's no $20,000 cars out there that I, that I get real excited for. I get, like all the cars that I would consider buying, I get, you know, I start crunching numbers, like 800, $900,000 car notes, like a C6 ZR1 at, you know, if I find a higher mileage one at 70K, that's a, what, a $1,300 car note, which I just don't want. And on top of that, to, to maintain videos, I feel like I gotta modify it, which is another crazy amount of money, which is where I kinda, I don't know. I feel like I'm rambling, but I sold a lot of cool cars last month at the dealership. I did fairly well as far as dollars made for the number of cars I sold. Oh my goodness, I'm getting real dark. It's The sun is behind me, so it's kind of uh, darkening me out, I guess. So hopefully you boys that didn't bother you boys, but I sold some cool stuff last month. <laughs> Lots of trucks. Last month was a truck month. Um, Let's get back to the dealership here real quick. I'm gonna show y'all some cool stuff that we got. Plus I only have 25 miles still empty on this Mustang here. We'll continue our talk at the dealership. 
we're back in the dealership and what I mean we got a lot of cool stuff new stuff used stuff it does not matter I personally really like this black diamond Bronco here another car that I kind of have a fixation on because I have not sold a full-size Bronco yet and this one I feel like is the best bang for your buck this MSRP is at $48,000 I believe this one it, you know it doesn't have the crazy wheels on it but I can fix that for you with the dealership or I can provide you connections to do it outside of the dealership you still get you know your tow hooks up front this metal yeah, you still get a metal bumper here inside's leather you still get the big screen with carplay and all that stuff so you can't go wrong with that on top of the cool broncos and the mustangs and everything i have cool trucks here like this f-250 platinum here obviously this is a big boy msrp truck but if you're hauling stuff or just like a big old diesel truck and maybe you don't need an f-350 that's a pretty solid option especially in this color here it's a platinum so it's got all sorts of nice options and nice upgrades and everything you can't go wrong with that is it unlocked let's see if it's unlocked or if i can just peek in here oh not unlocked but it's a nice place to be panoramic sunroof and like i said a very nice color um f-150s also have come out in numbers i have lariats i have xlts I have STXs, the cheaper MSRP stuff, but I also have the big boy trucks here, like this brand new 2024 King Ranch. I also have a couple trimmers here, which are pretty neat. Kind of that off-road appearance package. Me personally, I really like the little accents they did with like the orange across the grills. And the seats are pretty cool. They're like a digital camo inside. Let's see if you can see that. There we go, a little bit with the glare. On the used car side of things, I mean, we got a lot of trucks. I really want more performance cars, but trucks are what's popular around here we got this xl f350 here that only has like 170 miles on it so that's pretty cool it's got the work bed on it already which is also a nice touch remember i said gerardo traded in a tacoma that he bought for me at toyota and traded for a single cab this is it right here it's a good looking little truck trimmer pre-owned cheap little nissans F-150s for days, of course. I'm a Ford dealership, so I'm gonna have a lot of those. Single cab, that is an EcoBoost V6. Rangers, Raptors, F-250s, King Ranches, you name it. Even some cargo vans. So if you're looking to start a business, hit me up, and I got gotcha. you. Got the, even a 2024 Ranger Lariat. This thing has like 116 miles on it. I don't know the story. I don't know why dude traded it in already, but we have it here, so hit me up if you're interested. Cheap little Audi for something affordable for you right there. Even a long range, full self drive capable Model Y. When I tell you boys I get weird fixations on certain cars I have on the lot, this Telluride is one of those things that I'm like, I wanna sell it. And I think it's because this paint is pretty cool. It's like a burgundy sort of color. It's also got the full leather and all sorts of nice stuff. It's a V6 all wheel drive. It's a very nice car. It's kind of one of those things that I've gotten a weird fixation on though. Some other affordable options up here under 20 grand, Fusions, Mazda 6s. That Versa is under 10 grand and is a five speed manual. I might buy that for the daily. Another vehicle that I've kind of gotten a weird fixation on, Charger RT. I feel like this needs to go to one of y'all. It's got an exhaust. This thing is actually really loud. And it's a V8, you know? It's not an insane payment. It's in the 20K ballpark. So, gets you something decent with a V8. That looks good, sounds really good too. I need to go find the keys maybe, get an exhaust clip if I'm able to. I don't know if I'll get around to doing that because I don't want to make this video super long and rambly, but very nice, I'm already rambling, whatever. Hey, Mustang on a drag pack rolling by. When I was rolling out, I got a quick clip of this thing, but this is truly La Mamalona right here. Look at this thing. F-350 Dually, it's got some crazy wheels with the bullets on it. 2019 F-350 Larry, 94,000 miles. Barely getting broken in, but you do get the full leather interior. I believe this one's got the panoramic roof as well. Let's take a look in the back. Fifth wheel prep. So if you want to do some hauling in it, you can. But these wheels are sick. Look at that. In the same vein that I can do stuff on the Mustangs like the one I drove, we also do stuff to trucks like this F-250 Lariat. I think it's got a six inch lift on it, I believe. Some, one of those American Armor wheels, power running boards, all sorts of stuff couple uh, lifted other trucks f-150s two f-250s and then one on the rocks another f-150 lariat more lifted trucks over on this side the black on black 4x4 v8 stx lifted it's a really nice looking truck f-250 f-150 then an f-250 without the lift but 
Got some Broncos here. I still haven't sold a big boy Bronco, so please hit me up if you're looking for one. I really want to sell one. We do got this little two-door Bronco here on some wheels. I think it's leveled. I'm not sure what's going on here. Boys, tell me what's up. There we go. I've never heard of this brand until I started working at a dealership, but they look really sharp, and every dealership I've worked at puts these wheels on their trucks. And now I got a Bronco on them. I've never heard of four play wheels, but I mean, it's a good looking wheel. I do got my little lineup of Mustangs. We haven't really gotten any new ones in stock since I've started that weren't already spoken for. We got in a couple dark horses, but those are all basically orders and spoken for before they arrive. But the EcoBoost are a great platform for your first car. And we get one cheap enough like this one here. This one is, um, you know, something that if you're a first time buyer, two grand down, I'm getting you approved for all day. As long as you make and have provable income, that is decent enough. I do have some 5.0s here and here. These are the same exact spec, both premium, so they get the heated and cooled seats and all that stuff. Couple more EcoBoosts here. We got some really highly optioned EcoBoosts like this one here. And then we got the Midnight Pony Package 5.0, which is the blackout, tinted headlights, black vents, black roof, black mirrors, black badges, black wheels, and the red painted Brembo brakes. Nice. And then behind the Mustangs, you can see we got a list of uh, heavy duty trucks. I'm your guy if you're looking for an F-250. We're slinging these like candy bars. I always get like fixated on the cars that are in cool, weird colors like this Eruption Green Bronco Sport. You know, it's an affordable vehicle. Brand new with warranty and all that stuff. And that color's really cool. Gets good gas mileage, not a bad daily. I've actually sold a few Bronco Sports already. We got our row of Lightnings over there, but whatever. We got our Black Diamond Bronco here which is pretty cool. This color is also cool. I got a couple of these. Like I said, this one's also optioned out MSRP under 48. So that's pretty nice. You get leather and seats, you get the bigger screen. It's a nice little Bronco. But I just wanted to talk to you boys. Sales are going pretty good. I'm really liking it here at Doggett. I just want all the opportunities in the world. Stock going to sell a million dollars a month. YouTube has done pretty well as well. I mean, for being what it is, there's not been that many opportunities to get out and get a video, but I've been able to get out and get some pretty solid ones and take advantage of the opportunities I've given. I just hope you boys are still enjoying the videos. Let me know what kind of builds you think you'd be cool on the channel. Let me know if you're looking for a new vehicle. You can email me, I put it on screen here, or you can shoot me a message on Instagram. If you got a trade in, I promise we're making those deals happen, my boy Irvy. Uh, he drives a heads cam Z06, he's a cool car guy, but He's making the deals happen. He's putting the money in the trades. And let's get some deals done. You can shoot me a message. You know where to find me. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'll catch you next one, guys.